Hi Felters and welcome, I hope you're all okay. Um, this footage is just of a tree that um, I made for a handicraft competition for a local agricultural show and I didn't think to film the beginning of it, I wasn't sure whether it would be a good one for a video but actually lots of people have been really interested in the tree so I took 10 wires and I put them all together inside the tree, wrapped it up and then split the wires as we sort of go up the tree um, so all the wires are inside there and I've bent the bottoms out and under and I'm going to attach them to um, a piece of wood. But as you go up the tree, split them into two and then split those into one as you sort of go further up. You can see there's the wires I've bent underneath. So it was literally sort of ten clumped together and then just wrap the wool around them. It makes It actually made it really nice and strong so it worked really, really well. And then as you go up, so there's two, two, two and two, and then split them again. And then you'll see later on in the video, I'm going to add some more to it as well. I wrap them with floristry tape just to make it easier because the thinner the branches get, the harder it is to sort of wrap the uh, wool around them. So these are the branches I'm going to add to the branches to, because I didn't have it, you would have had to have had an, a lot of wire. So these I've wrapped, um, and I actually put a little bit of glue on some of these just to make them nice and hard. And I'm going to put them on there, wrap them round. And then, um, because the title of it is Reflection on Recent Times. So I was going to do a lady sitting under a tree. Um, and the tree's going to have heart leaves because of nature and how nature has looked after us during lockdown. I just thought it was a really nice idea. It's called Escape to the Trees. Um, nature walks during lockdown and she's going to be holding a heart as well so I'm going to do the bark on the tree in a bit but I'm going to lead you through the rest of it sorry I didn't capture the very beginning and um, I sort of nailed it down to the wood in the end but um, we'll show you some of the process so you can have a look through and, and see what you think but um, the tree I was really really happy with actually in the end so let's have a look through Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone asleep
there we are all finished and yeah I was really pleased with it overall I think I did enough leaves I did about 80 to 85 leaves maybe I could have done a few more the tree bark effect was super easy to do with any brown wool and then I used a green wool mix for the base um but yeah I've got to practice doing my humans a little bit more because I was she wasn't the best but I liked her knitted dress but yeah pleased that I did it and pushed myself so I took it down to the show and I got a third prize so um that was really lovely um it was like a mixed media class there wasn't just a needle felting class so it was in amongst other things but um it's always lovely to get a rosette and it said outstanding craftsmanship so that was really kind of the judge i also bought a couple of other things these lovely little sewn strawberries they're going to be used as props and then these cards were gorgeous from this lady um, it's lovely to support small businesses isn't it and to be able to buy some things off them um so yeah all done really good to have pushed myself I can't sell her on Etsy because it's not something I could ever post so she's probably going to be with me for a long time but yeah pleased I pushed myself and tried so thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you again soon